Hey guys, Aki here. Welcome back to the series Free to Play to Max. If you're new around here, this is a series about building up a fully self-sufficient main account starting off in Free to Play. In the last episode, we got ourselves a Fury and a Berserker's Ring by utilizing an underrated money-making method. If you're interested in learning what that method was, you can check out the last episode in the playlist or you can join the Aki Legs clan chat our brand new Discord will also be linked in the description down below. In today's episode, we are going to be working on getting a torso, as well as completing some much needed diaries. We're going to start off today's episode in the Barbarian Outpost, working on the first step towards our new torso. If you guys are planning to get a torso of your own, I highly recommend starting off with the Collector Roll. In this video, I will be giving a brief explanation on how the roll works, if you guys would like a more detailed guide on each roll, let me know in the comments down below. The reason why I recommend taking the collector roll first is because it is a laid back position that is practically impossible to mess up. When each round starts, first thing you want to do is call, which you can do by right clicking on the horn in your inventory. Every 30 seconds, you will be required to call out a new attack style. You might be wondering, how do I know which style to call? I recommend using the Barbarian Assault plugin, which will give you a 30 second timer and tell you what style to call. The rounds you play as Collector is going to consist of these three actions. Picking up eggs, loading the cannon, and calling every 30 seconds. This should give you a basic idea of what to expect while playing the Collector role. But remember, there are four other roles in total. The attacker, the healer, the defender, and of course the collector, which we just discussed. Once you have 375 points in each roll, you can come talk to Commander Conad on the main floor and exchange them for your very own fighter's torso. Alright guys, that was my first attempt at getting a torso. It took me a few hours of grinding each day. I thought the minigame was going to be much more difficult, but my clan was a huge asset in getting it done smoothly. And while a clan isn't totally necessary, having a group of people to figure to figure things out with is always super helpful. I want to thank the guys in the clan chat who helped me get the torso. And while we're celebrating here, I also want to go ahead and thank you guys for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. I never thought that this many people would be checking out my videos, so I'm trying to level up my editing and presentation skills to provide better content for you guys. Let me know what you thought of this style of video while we get back into the progression. After breaking the bank in the last episode, I decided it was time to go back and farm Kurasks again. It was making me some decent GP, and this time I will be ranging in a safe spot so I'll be able to AFK over the next couple hours. We will check back in if something happens, and at the end of the run to show the spoils. Coming in with 74 range, and about 2 hours later, we finished up our goal of 75 range. And as promised, here is the loot for you guys. In the future, I will remember to show the loot in price checker, but for this time, I forgot, so I added it up for you guys. It's coming in at 1.4 mil. It's finally time to do some diaries on the account. I'm super excited to start getting some of the benefits they give. It's mostly quality of life type stuff, but either way, we gotta get them done. We are going to be starting off with the Falador 1 and 2 diaries. We will also end up doing some quests along the way, which will edge us closer to a future goal of getting a quest cake. But before we do that, here we are talking to Sir Rebrawl, <laughs> no. and we are going to be getting our reward. The Fally Medium Diary ended up having some quest requirements, being the Giant Dwarf and Rat Catchers. So here is Giant Dwarf for you, and now we will move on to Rat Catchers. Okay, so we're doing Rat Catchers, and let me know if I'm doing something wrong here, guys, but every time I come up here, the guard's just waiting for me. You know, like, that's just so annoying. 
about to wrap up the rat catchers quest and i gotta say i really despise this quest and you know what it can just go ahead and get out of my face just wanted to mention that um, I'm just about to finish off the Medium Falador Diary and I didn't even need to do it. So I'll explain real quick. Basically I thought that the Falador Diary would unlock me the Falador patch, but it is the Lumbridge Diary. <laughs> Oops. After my little mistake doing the Falador Diaries, it's time to move on with the Lumbridge Diaries. We quickly finished off the first one and here is the second one. I'm definitely super excited for this one. My farm runs are going to become much more efficient now, getting myself three daily teleports to the Falador patch. And we are going to be using all our experience lamps for agility so that the 70 grind comes a little quicker. Next up is the Varrock Easy Diary. It's very quick to complete and it allows you 15 daily staffs from Zaffs as well as awarding you an experience lamp worth 2500 experience which you know we're putting in agility in order to start the varrock medium diary i will be needing some more quests starting off with the garden of tranquility we are going to get to see firsthand the king of varrock being a typical whiny king first off he roams in here with all his smack talk only for his wife to lay a smack down on him right in front of this noble adventurer. This man got the last white tree. He got vines from Bertho. He has it all, man. Including an angry wife. As you can see, he just got smacked down. And right now he's getting the third degree. After watching this domestic dispute, we are brought into the castle for our long-awaited reward. Turns out the reward for all our effort was just a lousy bucket of dirt and some cheap seeds. Next thing we did was Soul's Bane. It was a quest requirement for the Varrock Medium Diary. And I just wanted to show off how hard these rage weapons hit. Like we uh, got low stats and we we're busting out 40s with it. It's uh, it's actually pretty, pretty fun to do. Um, if you haven't done this quest, go try it out. It's actually pretty fun. With all the requirements out of the way, we can finally finish the Varrock Medium Diary. First things first though, we gotta go steal a white tree branch from the king himself. And uh, yeah, the reason I wanted to do this one is just for the daily battle staffs. Um, it's not going to bring in a crazy amount of money every day, but combined with all the other uh, methods and uh, farm runs and everything, it's uh, definitely going to add up and help build my bank up. And here we go, 30 battle staffs each day, and another experience lamp into agility, getting us closer to 70. Real quick, just wanted to show where you buy the battle staffs. So with the medium diary, I can buy 30. It costs me 210k, and they're worth 230 now we can go ahead and move on with the Mortania Diary series. Uh, I actually do plan on doing the Hard Diary in this uh, series. Uh, so we can make a return to Barrows and see how much money we can make with the 50% bonus in runes. And also some improvements in our gear. Here we go with another antique lamp for agility so that Hard Diary comes a little faster. Questin time, question time, question time. Every diary, we, we, we're gonna have to do a couple quests. So there is Haunted Mine, and here is Zogar Flesh Eaters, followed by Rum Deal, followed by Cabin Fever. We needed this one for the hard diary actually, but I am just in a questing mood and it got me some agility experience. So we will take that. Quickly finished in aid of Myrkey, and then I decided to move on with the skilling requirements for the Matania Hard Diary. After that, I will finish the last couple quest requirements for the diary, and then it will be time to move on to Barrows again. 
I'm honestly super excited to go back and see how much money we can make this time around. We are gonna have that bonus 50% rune, so that's a, that should be pretty huge, honestly. Should make quite a big difference for when we go dry there. And of course, we are gonna be getting some upgrades this time around, so hopefully our runs are just a little bit more efficient. And uh, yeah, with that being said, this is where I'm gonna end today's episode, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.